So hello and welcome to this uh, Adobe Anime tutorial and in this video I am going to show you how you can make your banners or your HTML5 animations uh, responsive. We are going to create this very simple animation and if I am going to uh, make my window to be smaller it is going to adjust like so and it is going to adjust like uh, so and we are going to center the animation at the center of the of the stage. Uh, I have this uh, from the site prepeak and I am going to put the link in the description but in this tutorial I am not not going to show you how you can get this from the free pick to the illustrator and so on but I am just going to provide you the illustrator file please keep in mind that I don't own this and if you want to use this commercially you will have to attribute the author or go premium on the free pick but yeah now I will go to the Adobe animate and I'm going to create a new document you can go with Control N command N or file new and I'm going to choose the specific size which is going to be 800 by 500 uh, the only reason for this size is that I have the illustrator file which is going to be also 800 by 500 frame rate is fine as it is I want this to be HTML5 canvas and I'm just going to click uh, create you can use any animation but I am going to go with this one uh, so I am just going to drag this to the uh, Adobe animate like so and uh, I am just going to click uh, import I do not need to I do not want to change anything so yeah uh, now I am going to have two layers, one of them is going to be this uh, one and one of them is going to be this uh, background. Uh, I can go ahead and uh, convert the background to the symbol to be able to animate this. So I will click on the background, I will go to the modify, convert to symbol or F8. I can call this to be BG but I do not need to. I want this to be movie clip, the registration point doesn't matter and I am just going to click OK. Now what I am going to do is uh, I can zoom out with control and mouse wheel and I am going to duplicate the background so I am going to hold alt or option and I am going to drag like this and I am also going to hold shift so I am going to stay on the same line and I am just going to duplicate it like uh, so approximately like uh, this and I am going to duplicate this one more time so I am going to hold alt or option shift and something like uh, this and uh, yeah if you cannot see things outside of the stage there is this clip content outside of the stage now I am going to I rename my layers so this is going to be I will double click BG and I can double click on this one and this is going to be one now I am going to click on the BG uh, layer and it is going to select all of the duplications of the background and one more time I will go with uh, F8 uh, or modify convert to symbol and I am going to call this to be all BGs like all backgrounds and I am going to click OK and now what I can do is I can go maybe to frame uh, 200 or anywhere and I'm going to extend the timeline for both of them so I will right click and I'm going to choose insert frame or F5 and on the background layer I am going to create a keyframe so I will right click and I'm going to choose insert keyframe of or F6 and on this keyframe I am going to click on this to select this and I'm going to go with shift and my left arrow and I am going to just uh, position the background uh, to the left like so and I will go anywhere in between I will right click I will choose create classic twin and I am going to have this very uh, simple animation like so. Okay, right now we can go ahead and <laughs> uh, take a look at the publish settings uh, and so on. So I will go to the file, I will go to the publish settings and uh, there are many things we have like some basics uh, we have some html uh, js we have some image settings i have a tutorial and i can put the link in the description about this uh, export image assets there, there is like texture sprite sheet image uh, assets and uh, then the same thing is like in the image settings uh, if you want to have this as a png jpeg vector and so on so i have a tutorial with a lot of details about this but in this tutorial we are just going to take a look at the uh, this part uh, center stage make responsive uh, this include preloader we are not going to take a look so the first thing which is like obvious <laughs> you can go ahead and click uh, center stage and uh, this is just going to center the, your stage you have an option to go with both uh, vertically and horizontally if you go with both obviously it is going to when you go with control enter uh, center you this uh, horizontally and center you this vertically to the center of the stage and if you are just going to choose one of the options which like <laughs> probably makes sense if I am going to choose that I want to uh, um, have this uh, horizontally 
then this is going to be aligned only horizontally and the same thing you probably know that if I am going to make this uh, vertically it is going to be uh, only vertically like so I am going to put this to the boat because uh, I just want to show you that uh, this is not going to make this responsive this is just going to uh, center this to the stage so right now if I I'll try to make my page smaller and I'm going to go like this uh, it is not going to adjust and the same thing if I go like this it is not going to adjust so we didn't make this responsive we just centered this to the stage now I can go ahead and go back to the Adobe Animate file publish settings and I will go with this uh, make responsive and uh, right now you have one more time the same options you have both uh, by height or by width so of course if I go with uh, both and I'm going to click OK and I will go with Control enter command enter uh, if I'm going to make the width of the page smaller but there is like some limit uh, if I go like this it is going to adjust like so hopefully you can see this but I cannot go like more but you can see this and the same thing with the height if I go like this it is going to adjust uh, like uh, so uh, now what I can do to show you the width a little bit uh, better I can go to file one more time publish settings and I can go ahead and choose this uh, scale to fill visible area right now we have two options I will show you both of them but for now we are going to go with this uh, fit in view and I'm going to click OK and I will go with Ctrl enter command enter and right now I am going to have this uh, like so and if I'm going to make this smaller and I will make the height like so if I go uh, and I am going to scale the, the width like this it is going to adjust and if I am going to uh, scale the height it is also going to adjust like so and then I hope that this is obvious that if I go to publish settings and I change uh, the make responsive only by width and I will go with OK it is going to uh, make this responsive uh, by width but it is not going to make this uh, responsive by uh, height like so and the same thing if you are going to choose publish settings and uh, make uh, responsive by uh, height <laughs> probably this is obvious that right now uh, if I go ahead and change the width nothing is going to happen but if I change the height uh, it is going to be like so I would go uh, of course with the uh, boat so it's like the best option so I'm going to uh, choose both and uh, yeah and I'm going to click OK now uh, for the for the last thing uh, that we have in here uh, this uh, fit in view and uh, stretch to fit I am going to show you this on a, on a different banner uh, so I'm just going to hit cancel and I have just uh, this kind of animation I can go with control enter command enter but that's not the point uh, so I have just something like this this is just a banner which is 300 by 600 but if I go and I go to file publish settings and I'm going to make this responsive and I'm going to choose sc uh, scale to fill visible area and I will go with fit in view and I will go with OK it is going to like make the banner so it is going to fit in view but if I'm going to choose the other option if I go to file and I go to publish setting and I'm going to choose uh, not fit in view but I'm going to uh, choose uh, stretch to fit and I'm going to click OK it is going to uh, stretch the banner to be like the whole website and I need to scroll like so and uh, and yeah so yeah basically this is uh, this is it uh, this is uh, like uh, publish settings and make responsive I think that this is pretty straightforward but I wanted to show you this uh, anyway so yeah this is it uh, this is all as, as I told you I am going to provide you the illustrator file uh, I am going to put a free pick link in the description and I can also put the link for the tutorial about like publish settings uh, how you can export images JPEGs PNGs vectors and so on uh, so yeah so if anyone have been here until the end you can write me that in the comments that would mean a lot to me and uh, yeah I hope that you have learned something I hope that you will be able to use this in your projects and yeah thank you have a nice day and goodbye